everyone. Welcome back to our English Learning Podcast. I'm so happy you're here with me today. In this episode, we're going to talk about everyday situations and how to handle them in English. We'll use simple language, have some fun, and I'll share funny stories to keep you entertained. Are you ready? Let's get started. So, imagine you're at a coffee shop. You walk in and see a big menu on the wall. There are so many choices. What do you do? First, let's learn some useful phrases. One, ordering food and drinks. When you order, you can say, I'd like to order a... Or can I have a... For example, I'd like to order a cappuccino. Or can I have a chocolate croissant? Easy, right? Now, let me tell you a funny story. One time, I went to a coffee shop and wanted to order a hot chocolate. But I was so tired that day that I accidentally asked for a hot pot. Yes, a hot pot. The barista looked at me like I was crazy. We both laughed about it. It's okay to make mistakes. Everyone does. And that's how we learn. Two, asking for help. Sometimes you might need help. You can ask, can you help me with, for example, can you help me with the Wi-Fi password? Or can you help me find the restroom? Here's another funny story. Once I was in a new city and needed directions to a museum. I asked a local for help, but my English wasn't very clear. I think I said, can you tell me how to get to the musket? The person looked very confused. It turned out I mixed up museum and musket, which is a type of old gun. We both laughed, and eventually I found the museum. <laughs> Three, making small talk. Small talk is when you chat with someone about simple things, like the weather or their day. You can ask questions like, how's your day going? Or, what's the weather like today? Here's a fun fact. Small talk can make people feel more comfortable and help you make friends. Once I started talking to a neighbor about the weather. It was a really hot day and I said, It's so hot today, I feel like I'm melting. We laughed and ended up chatting for a long time. We became good friends. Four, shopping for clothes. When shopping for clothes, you might say, I'm looking for a, for example, I'm looking for a blue dress, or I'm looking for some new shoes. I remember shopping for a new jacket. I wanted to say, I need a warm jacket for winter. But instead, I said, I need a warm jacket for summer. The store clerk looked at me funny. We both laughed when I realized my mistake. Always check the season before shopping. Five, giving directions. Sometimes you need to give directions. You can say, go straight, turn left, or it's on the right. For example, go straight and then turn left. The store is on the right. One day I tried to give directions to a friend over the phone. I said, go straight, then turn left, and it's the big yellow building. But I forgot to mention that it's right next to a park. My friend got very confused and ended up in a completely different place. It's always good to be clear when giving directions. Six, dealing with problems. If something goes wrong, you can say, I have a problem with, or there's an issue with. For example, I have a problem with my bill, or... There's an issue with my order. Here's a funny story about dealing with problems. I once ordered food for delivery, but they sent the wrong order. I called and said, I have an issue with my order. I didn't get what I wanted. The person on the phone said, Oh, did you order the spaghetti? I said, No, I ordered pizza. We both laughed, and they fixed the mistake quickly. Seven, making a reservation. When you want to book a table or a room, you can say, I'd like to make a reservation for, 
For example, I'd like to make a reservation for two at 7 p.m. One time, I made a reservation at a restaurant, but I forgot to specify the number of people. When I arrived, they thought I only needed a table for one person. I had to quickly explain and ask for a bigger table. It's always best to be specific when making a reservation. Duokultin and desokalet. Eight? Asking for opinions. If you want to know what someone thinks, you can ask, What do you think about? For example, What do you think about this movie? Or, What do you think about this restaurant? I once asked a friend, What do you think about my new haircut? They said, It looks great. But later, I found out they were just being polite. Sometimes people might not tell you their true feelings. It's okay to ask and also be prepared for honest feedback. 9. Giving compliments Compliments are nice things you say to someone to make them feel good. You can say, you look great, or this is a wonderful place. One day, I gave a compliment to a friend's new outfit. I said, wow, you look fantastic. But I accidentally said, you look like a fantastic whale. We both laughed, and I quickly corrected myself. Compliments are great, but be careful with your words. 10. Saying goodbye. When you leave, you can say, goodbye, see you later, or have a nice day. I once had to say goodbye to a friend after a long day. I said, goodbye and have a nice life. We both laughed at how strange that sounded. It's usually best to stick with goodbye or see you later. Making mistakes is part of learning. Every mistake is a chance to improve. When I was learning English, I made a lot of mistakes. But with every mistake, I learned something new. For example, I once mixed up bacon and bacon with bacon and bacon. It was a little embarrassing, but it helped me remember the correct pronunciation. The more you practice, the better you get. Try to use new words and phrases in your daily life. Here's a tip. Practice with friends or family. Have small conversations in English. It's fun and helps you get better. Now, I have a fun challenge for you. Try to use at least three of the phrases we learned today in a conversation. You can write it down or say it out loud. That's all for today's episode. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Remember, making mistakes is okay. It's part of the learning process. Keep practicing and you'll get better and better. Thank you for listening and see you next time on our English Learning Podcast. Have a great day, everyone.